Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I would like to share with you my homemade recipe for naturally shiny, clean, and pest-free leaves on houseplants. This recipe has been a staple in my plant care routine for many years because it's natural, easy to make, and the results are truly amazing. Clean leaves are a critical factor in the health and growth of your plants. When the leaves are clean, they can photosynthesize more efficiently, capturing more sunlight and carbon dioxide. This translates to your plants producing more energy, promoting healthier growth. Just like us, plants breathe. Clean leaves allow for better respiration by enabling the exchange of gases. This is vital for the plant's metabolism and overall vitality. Another compelling reason to clean your plant leaves regularly is pest prevention. Clean leaves are less attractive to pests. By keeping them clean, you can significantly reduce the risk of infestations and diseases, ensuring your plants thrive. And let's not forget the aesthetic appeal, clean, shiny leaves simply look better. They can transform your indoor garden into a beautiful and inviting space. So, stay tuned as I walk you through the steps of creating this natural leaf shine and cleaning mixture that will keep your houseplants not only looking their best, but also thriving in a healthier environment. I always suggest and practice showering my plants because it's the best way to remove dust from the leaves and provide the plant with a good amount of water. However, a common issue that arises after showering is the presence of hard water deposits on the leaves. These white circular marks aren't just an aesthetic problem, they can actually harm the leaves and even attract pests. That's why I highly recommend using this mixture recipe after showering your plants. It's an effective way to remove those hard water deposits and maintain your plant's health. And of course, if you can't shower your plants, you can still use this recipe to keep them in top shape. Now, let me show you how to prepare this easy magic recipe. For this mixture, you will need milk, olive oil, white alcohol vinegar, measuring spoons, and a bowl to mix the ingredients. Milk is often used for its calcium content, which can benefit some plants by providing them with a source of calcium. It may also act as a mild fertilizer. The proteins in milk can help to shine the leaves. I use 200 milliliters of full-fat milk for this mixture. Olive oil can be used to shine and protect the leaves. It creates a glossy appearance and can help repel dust and pests to some extent. I use 5 milliliters of olive oil, but if you want extra shine, you can add 10 milliliters. Vinegar is sometimes added for its acidic properties, which can help remove mineral deposits and hard water stains from the leaves. It can also act as a mild fungicide. I add 5 milliliters of white vinegar for this recipe. To prepare the mixture, begin by measuring out 200 milliliters of milk. Allow the milk to come to room temperature, this will make it easier for the olive oil to blend. Pour the milk into a bowl, then add 5 milliliters of white vinegar. I prefer to use a small spoon for precise measuring. Next, add the olive oil and start mixing the ingredients. You'll notice yellow circles forming due to the olive oil, but don't worry, they won't fully dissolve. At this point, your mixture is ready for use. You can use your favorite towel, I usually use cotton or a microfiber towel for the best results. Let's clean now. Dip a small part of the towel into the mixture. If it's too liquid, wring out a little bit of the towel and start wiping. I left this ficus for an extended period without cleaning, so I can show you the before and after results. I will clean half of the leaf first to demonstrate the difference. When the leaves are very dirty like this one, you can either give them a gentle shower first or clean them twice with this mixture. As you can see, there's a significant difference after cleaning, the clean half is now pristine, and the natural shine is striking. I'll proceed to clean the entire leaf. Always remember to clean both sides of the leaf, the front and the back. Most pests tend to hide on the underside of the leaf. I typically clean the leaves with this recipe when they become dusty, which is usually about once a month. 
Using this mixture monthly is entirely safe and won't harm your plant. Just be cautious not to use it too frequently. You can use this recipe on all houseplants with glossy leaves. However, I do not recommend using it on plants with flat or fibrous leaves, such as alocasia black velvet or calathea feather. Please take care to avoid using the same towel on other plants if any of your plants are infected or sick, as it could lead to the potential transfer of the infestation. This natural recipe is not only effective, but also convenient because you can prepare it anytime and in any quantity you need, just maintain the proportions of the ingredients. However, please note that because it's made from organic ingredients, it cannot be stored for an extended period. You can keep it in the refrigerator for a few days, but not longer. If you store it in the refrigerator, allow it to return to room temperature and thoroughly mix it again before use. If you're a fan of natural and organic plant care recipes, I encourage you to watch my other video on how to boost your plant's growth using homemade lentil fertilizer. I'll leave a link in the description. I also use this mixture on my orchids, and you can clearly see the difference where I've missed cleaning the leaves. Now, let me show you a few of my houseplants after using this mixture. These are the results after a few days of cleaning the leaves. What I appreciate the most is that I can use this mixture on nearly all of my houseplants, and it especially enhances the natural shine of their leaves. It leaves them looking healthy and beautifully natural. I hope you enjoyed this homemade recipe. I'm curious to hear about your favorite recipes as well. I'm always eager to try something new and improve, so please leave a comment below this video. If you like my content, please support my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. It means a lot to me and it's completely free for you. Thanks for watching.